Hi, I'm Dr. Jan Voskum, Emeritus Akers Distinguished Professor of Aerospace Engineering at the University of Kansas and also the founder of the Aerospace Engineering Short Course Program. Since 1977, the KU Aerospace Engineering Short Course Program has been offering non-credit professional development opportunities to engineers and managers in the aerospace industry. I would like to share some information about the history of the program and its impact on the aerospace industry. Whether you have taken a short course before or are exploring taking one for the first time, allow me to provide you with some historical context and tell you why I believe this to be one of the most valuable professional development experiences available to aerospace professionals. Between 1968 and 1976, several aircraft design and flight test research programs were conducted at KU under NASA sponsorship. Examples are the Red Hawk, ATLET and SSSA programs. These programs demonstrated that significant performance improvements of general aviation airplanes could be achieved at low cost. It also showed that separate surface stability augmentation systems could help tailor flying qualities at low cost and enhance safety. It was thought desirable to transfer this technology to the general aviation aircraft industry. And therefore, in 1976, I taught the first short course called General Aviation Feedback Control Technology in Wichita, Kansas. This course was sponsored by NASA Dryden Flight Research Center at Edwards Air Force Base, California. The course was attended by 21 engineers from Boeing, Beach, Cessna and Gates Learjet. And as a result of that event, KU began to receive requests from the aircraft industry to offer similar courses on a regular basis. The organization of that was entrusted to the KU Division of Continuing Education with co-sponsorship from the School of Engineering and the Department of Aerospace Engineering. The first course, called Airplane Dynamic Stability, Control and Synthesis of Automatic Flight Control Systems, was held at KU and attended by 51 engineers. During the following years, requests for new courses in airplane design and airplane performance led to the need to expand the short course program and bring it under professional management. Therefore, in 1981, the program came under the leadership of Jan Barron, who was senior program manager in the Division of Continuing Education. Under her leadership, first nationally and then internationally, the program grew from one instructor and three courses to more than 100 different instructors and 40 different short courses. To make the courses more attractive, Jan Barron took the initiative to offer simultaneous short courses in locations such as San Diego, Orlando, Seattle, Williamsburg and other locations in addition to the KU campus. At first the short courses were offered as public enrollment courses, but it soon became apparent that there also was a need for courses specifically tailored to the needs of governmental and industrial organizations. These courses were dubbed on-site courses and are conducted at aircraft and missile manufacturers, governmental and military organizations and other aerospace entities. As time went on, it occurred to me that there could well be a need in Europe and elsewhere for the type of courses we had developed and today, international courses have been and are being offered around the world in North and South America, Europe, Asia and Australia. Throughout the life of the program, topics taught by Aerospace Engineering Short Course Program expanded beyond aircraft design, stability, control and aerodynamics to also include certification, compliance, flight testing, structures, materials, flutter, safety and many other areas important to the aerospace industry. Now, after 40 years, I'm proud to say that the program I founded is one of the most respected professional development programs in the industry. After over 1400 courses around the world, the KU Aerospace Short Course Program is still delivering on its initial mission 
to provide ongoing professional development opportunities for the benefit of the aerospace industry. Thanks very much for your interest in the program and we look forward to seeing you in class soon.